Yeah, and that's one of the paradoxes, no, that in today's, well, everywhere, it seems that people think they know better than us, but paradoxically, when we follow our heart, it's when we do the most impact and you've been you've been the example of it. And Dr. Tyson, I wanted to ask you, you know, going back into the, the idea that we're made out of stardust, it's almost as if we're talking on a spiritual sense, no? That, you know, the connection with everyone that we have, with everything, is just overwhelming. So have these insights, these profound insights deepened your spirituality in any way? Ha have they connected you with something bigger? You know, people often refer to it as God or, you know, the universe. Do you feel more connected to, to the to everything now that you know what's behind the veil? Well, the word spirituality used in that way does not really have an agreed upon definition. There are many people today who would say, I'm spiritual, but not religious. Okay. So in fact, that's the most common application of the word that I've seen lately. They, because they want to claim some feeling about their place in the universe but they don't want to assign it to a deity. So they say, I'm spiritual, but not religious. Mm. Uh, I would say all of these topics are highly spiritual in the sense that they force you, compel you to think about the world well outside of yourself and what role it all plays and who you are and what you will accomplish now and in the future. So... Um, so I would say, yes, indeed it does, but it doesn't necessarily then say that there's an old man with a beard in the clouds yeah. handing us commandments about who we should sleep with, mm -hmm. right? So no, that it, it's nowhere near that, um, to the extent that we can define the term to mean just looking up with feeling. Wow. Yeah, that's... Mind-boggling, because like you say, it's such an overwhelming conversation that we're co we're connected with everything. It just takes away all of the pettiness, at least for me and hopefully for many other people. Mm -hmm.